How are you, Steve? I guess after um, a 2 0 win at Oxford, the mood in the camp's um, very positive at the moment. Yeah, it was a great, great win for us. Uh, clean sheet, which we're always happy with. Uh, good performance all around, following on from uh, the Bolton game. Knowing Daryl Clark like I did, he probably enjoyed it for about 10 minutes and then um, st straight away preparations for the next game. Very much so. Uh, we've got a game on Saturday, a very big game for us. It's a chance to bring in some more points and uh, see where it takes us. Yeah, you're taking on a side above you in the league table. It's a, it's a, it's yet another tough test. You seem to be playing a lot of the top teams at the moment. We have. Uh, we look at our February. It's a really hard February and we've come out of it sort of very well. Uh, obviously, we want to take that sort of consistency into the next set of games. Yep, um, Rovers have a habit of um, ending the season strongly. The challenge from Daryl Clark last week was to win three or four games in succession to stand any chance of making the playoffs. What do you have to do to be able to do that? Because it's not easy, is it, at this level? Again, we've got to work really hard, got to pass the ball well, uh, close people down uh, and be focused and concentrated. Uh, we go into those games with that attitude and uh, you've got to have a chance. Uh, we're taking it game by game. Uh, see where it takes us. Are you looking at games at blocks or do you, is it the old cliche one game at a time starting? It is in? very much so. Well, one game at a time. We don't get carried away. Um, we look at every project that we go into uh, and we work on that week in, week out and then come out with three points. It's a bonus and uh, it's great. Yeah, the fact mid-March we're still talking about the playoffs, that's a positive, isn't it? Because um, I don't know what expectations were at the start of the season, but having reached the 50-point barrier, to, you're, you're actually a competitive League One side, your first season back at this level. Yeah, and that's what we expect. Uh, we expect the team to go out and be competitive. We expect them to be pushing every single season. We expect to be up there. Uh, if you don't start a season looking for a promotion, it's not really worth going into a season four. So it, it's, it's our aim to always be as good as we can be and be as high as we can be. And you've got this unbeaten run. Um, obviously, the, the strikers aren't scoring at the moment, but last week, Stuart Sinclair, Ollie Clark did get the goals. Is it a team effort or would you like the strikers to weigh in with a goal or two? No, it's a team effort. You know, we, we keep clean sheets together. We score goals together. Uh, it's, we expect our midfielders to score goals. We, we expect them to chip in with maybe five goals a season, uh, your wingers to score some goals, our defenders to score some goals. And uh, it takes a little bit of burden off the strikers, but goals will come. They're great lads, they work hard and, and the goals will come for them. Don't get any chance to rest in football, We're already preparing for next season. Chris Lyon, Stuart Sinclair, Audi Clark all signing new contracts this week. Yeah, it's great news for the club. Uh, obviously, uh, two of them are local boys and uh, it's great to see local lads sort of staying with us and trying to progress the club. Uh, great news for the fans, I think. Ollie Clark, possibly one of your most consistent players this season, but he could do better, can he? He's been excellent. Uh, he's always been a fantastic sort of player to have in your squad. He can come in, does a job. And this year he's been really consistent, had a lot more run of games and uh, he's in good form. Uh, but hopefully that will carry on over the remainder of the season once his suspension's finished. And I think um, Stuart Sinclair, people wondered how he would cope at League One. Um, how would you assess his season, bearing in mind he signed the contract today? Um, he's been very good. It's sinks is sinks. You know what you're going to get. He works extremely hard, gives you absolutely everything. Uh, and it doesn't matter what league you're in. If, you, if you're willing to work hard and get in people's faces, then you're, you're playing any league. Uh, there's no reason why they can't play higher up the leagues because he's come from non-league. Uh, but he works really hard. And, and he's a very good player. And if, if you've got that attitude, then you could play in any league. Yeah, he does work hard. We label him Duracell, but there's more to his game than just his hard work and determination. No, he, his game is all about hard work, determination, getting in people's faces. But he can pass the ball and he's chipped in with the odd goal here and there. Uh, he's a very important member of our squad. South End um, was one of the biggest injustices of the season, the penalty they were awarded earlier in the season. You know, they even themselves up over the season. It, we felt a bit hard done by, but that was a very long time ago, it seems now. Uh, we just got to put that behind us and, and focus on this next game. And uh, like I say, if we work hard and, and, and we do the right things, then we'll give them a good game. Yeah, managed by Phil Brown. Um, I was going to ask you what their strengths are. They obviously have strengths because they're challenging for the playoffs as well. Yeah, they, they, they've gone through the season very well. They're, they've been consistent. They're up there. Um, like I say, week in, week out, there's not a lot between the bottom teams and, and the top teams. Uh, 
everyone can give each other a, a very good game on the day. And uh, we, we got beyond our toes and we got to approach the game as we, we've approached every game this season. And a lot of focus needed, three games coming up this week. Absolutely. Uh, like we say, we take it a game at a time. Uh, you always need that focus and concentration in every game that you play. Uh, and it's no different. We'll, we'll approach it in exactly the same way.